Hello viewer, I want to spend a few minutes to explain a question that has been requested by certain student. The question was coming from a mathematics paper for the KCP 2018 and it was question number 12. In a lunch, the ratio of goats to sheep is 4 is to 3, sheep to cow is 5 is to 2, cows to donkeys is 3 is to 2. The question is, what is the ratio of goats to donkeys? To start, I want us to consider the ratio of sheep, uh, goats to sheep and sheep to cows. It is given that the ratio of goats to sheep is 4 is to 3 and the ratio of sheep to cow is 5 is to 2. Now what we shall do in this case is to ensure that or rather to, uh, to, uh, to, to make sure that we have the same number of sheep representing a certain number of goats the same number of sheep here representing a certain number of goats and the same same number of sheep to represent a certain number of cows now to do this we are going to increase the first ratio by five that is we take five we multiply by four five we multiply by three this is going to change the first ratio and what you'll find is that this time 5 multiplied by uh, 4 will be 20, 5 times 3 will be 15. Now in the second ratio, we can multiply it by 3 to get 15 for the number of sheep and to get 6 for the number of cows. Now you realize that this time we shall have the new ratio of goats to sheep as 20 is to 15 and the ratio of sheep to cow as 15 is to 6. Now this is what I meant. The same number of sheep representing a certain number of goats and the same same number of sheep representing a certain number of cows. In other words, for every 15 sheep you'll have 20 goats and for the same same number of sheep that is 15 you have 6 cows. Now it is also given that uh, the ratio of cows to donkeys is 3 is to 2. Just as we had done earlier on, we need to have the same number of cows here to represent a certain number of sheep and the same same number of cows to represent a certain number of donkeys. And to do this, again, we can multiply this ratio here by 2 to get 6 cows here and to get 4 donkeys. And therefore, the new ratio now will be 15 is to 6. 15 is to 6 by 6 is to 4. In other words, for every 6 cows, you have 15 sheep. And for every 6 cows, again, you have 4 donkeys. Now, you will realize that now the new ratios are now changing that uh, by, by uh, taking the number of goats to sheep as 20 is to 15. And the ratio of sheep to cows is 15 is to 6, that is 15 is to 6, and the ratio of cows to donkeys is 6 is to 4. Now, in total, the new ratios now will be for the goats to sheep to cows and then to donkeys will be 20 is to 15 is to 6 and is to 4. But now that we are asked to state the ratio of goats to donkeys, it can be seen fr from here that the ratio of uh, goats to donkeys is 20 is to 4. 20 is to 4. This ratio here cannot be left like that. It can be simplified. And once you simplify it, you are going to get 5 is to 1. And therefore the candidate could have selected D as the answer for that. That is how you could have solved that problem, although there could be several other ways of doing the same. But I believe at the end of it, the student must have got an idea. Subscribe to this channel and be guaranteed to get as many examples as possible. Thank you very much for viewing this video.